Hello everyone. Today Flick and I are testing Boeing C788 gun against components. Here we have a Cladius. And I with them, CIG put all important components very close together, not just in Cladius. Behind the cockpit, you have your two shield generators almost at the same spot. And you have your power plant and flight controls. And your two coolers. Let's see how this goes. Flick has now a C788 bearing gun. You want to see if this gun does component damage to shields, which it did in the past, depending on the patch, of course. Flicker is now aiming at shield generators. Okay, one shot, please. Shields 99. Yeah, I took component damage. Power plant 98. Coolers 99, 99. Missile rack 99. All stops 96 and 96. Bearing C788 gun has an area of effect damage radius, so you are damaging quite a lot of components at once. When components are damaged, have less than 100 health, then they are less effective. Obviously, not much less effective at 96%, but this was just one shot. And now five shots, same area. Shields 95, I heard something. I <laughs> lost something, yeah, we lost those vertical stabilizers and we took more component damage power plant now at 85 percent coolers 91 and 92 missile rack 81 and 97 and shields 80 and 79 those are now way less effective and our center is red i have nuclear deals this time flicker will shoot one time aiming at the front And I will look at my components, fire when ready flicker. Shields 99. And this time I took no component damage except Gatling gun at 96. So you have to know where components are. And now flicker will shoot one time at the rear. Shields 99 again. Let's check components. Power plant max. Coolers max. Get the gun at 96 still because get the gun is not at the rear. No damage to shield generators. And now flick up again. Hit components that are very nicely packed together. <laughs> Almost all in the same spot. Okay, one shot please. We lost again our vertical stabilizers. Components this time, power plant 98, cooler 98 and 98, missile rack 1993. Gatling gun stays at 96, shields 97 and 97 and beacon quantum jump drive 98. Boring C788 gun has a 5 meter damage radius. A lot of ships have all their important components close by inside this damage radius. Still, you need to know where components are located, especially on bigger ships, if you want to damage or destroy them. And even on Gladius, if you're aiming at front or rear, you won't damage shield generators, power plant or coolers. Boring C788 gun could be a good choice in PvP and 3.18. In the Super Hornet you have 100 shots for your Boeing C788 gun in 3.18. This gives you 120 seconds of constant fire. Not too bad. Thank you very very much once again Flicker for all your help. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know if you have any experience with this gun in 3.18. And see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. And now I have a Hercules plushie. <laughs> Let's see if this thing blocks bullets too. Fire when ready flicker. Yeah, take no damage. No damage taken. That's too funny. It's a plushie. 
And it's blocking all damage. Can you shoot one more time? I'm using third person view. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you use ballistics or energy guns. This was a ballistic gun, it was a P8. And now a ballistic pistol. Shoot please. Let me check this out. Yeah, it took no damage. Even though it looked bad, but I take no damage. Hey, you're still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Kamoral underscore SC.